Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays at Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg. This is our first video of 2021, and I don't know what your plans are, but nothing is going to stop me from making 2021 a great year for Lofty Pursuits. And I hope that means it's going to be a great year for you too. We're going to capture the flavor of chocolate-covered strawberries. Chocolate-covered strawberries are kind of unique because we know exactly who invented them. Lorraine LaRusso, and she did it in the 1960s, and we'll get to that at the end. As I mentioned, this will be part of our image candy assortment for Valentine's Day. It's available at www.pd.net, and here's the full 2021 assortment. What we're going to do now is add the food coloring. And if you take a look as I stir it in, you're going to see the steam start coming off. You know, that's because the food coloring is water-based and the candy may look like a liquid, but has no water in it. And this is how we're going to build our palette. So we're going to have a red section, which is of course going to be the strawberry, and in this case also the outside wrap. And we're also going to have a little bit of trouble today. It's a cold day in Tallahassee, and I know those of you up north are going to think, Florida, cold? Well, the inside of the store right now is about 67 degrees, and that's giving us some trouble. The candy's cooling faster than I'd like it to, so this is going to be a bit of a rush the entire time. We're going to see how that goes. And yellow is going to be used for the background. Fortunately, yellow, a little yellow goes a very long way. We always use yellow for the background because it also lets us use it for the yellow seeds of the strawberry. We're going to have the brown, which we're also going to use on the wrap. Don't need very much of that. You'll notice the top layer of candy is getting a little hard. It's getting a little hard to work, but it's still boiling out and we're still getting a lot of steam. It's been a long time since I made a batch of candy just by myself. This should be interesting. Candy is just the right temperature. I didn't wait too long. There we go. Now I'm going to cut our candy into its palette. The stoplight of color here. We've got the brown. And this part over here cooled a little bit much. So rather than fight it, take most of it off. Put it in here, it'll reheat there. I can do the same thing with the green. Maybe I can save a bit of the edge of this. Nah, I got too much green on the edge. I'll just use it all. Now to go for the red. If I got the temperature right, it won't stick too badly to the table. Well, that's just perfect. I can keep everything apart. But I didn't succeed on everything, apparently. Ooh, it came apart, good. Let's hope this green can do the same thing. Let's see how fast everything's cooling. I'm not getting the drips I normally do, which I kind of have to do. And I'm doing this on a hot summer day the only way to aerate the candy enough to cool it off. Now that the sugar's evening out, there's no real cold places that I can uh, find to put the uh, sugar, or put my hands on so I don't get burned. If you'd like to try this candy for yourself, please visit our website at www.pd.net.
every time I pull this and fold it over, I'm trapping air bubbles into the candy. This is really useful for me because it's like setting up little mirrors inside the candy. And every time I do that, it reflects more light. That means it's gonna bounce the light out of the red and it's gonna make it look, well, more jewel-like. And that's the goal here, to make this more jewel-like. And it also creates more surface area in the candy. And uh, that means that the candy dissolves a little faster, which is good because it makes the flavor more intense. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make the strawberry fron. The strawberry fron is going to be sort of like half of a citrus, if you've seen our citrus video. Three, I think I'm going to have four little green fronds. So this is my heating table, and different parts are heated to different amounts, so I'm moving it around. I let it cool off, but not cool off too much. You gotta make sure that the green edges touch each other. And that'll be the top of the strawberry. Need some red. We need some more yellow. We're gonna need less yellow than the red by a substantial amount. Because these are gonna be the seeds. Probably even need less than that. So this area is gonna be the wrap for the seeds and the body of the strawberry. And normally I make 10 little strawberry cells, but I'm gonna make fewer this time. Because I'm making fewer because I'm going to be making the uh, I'm going to be making fewer because I'm making the chocolate bit too. It will be part of the same triangle. So I'm going to end up doing seven of these little things. So this will end up being four, and that'll end up being three. Two, three, four. The center of each of these is going to be yellow, giving that little strawberry seed. And this will be in thirds. I'll do one, two, three. I'll get the brown. And I'll start pulling cylinders off this. Lots of leftover brown. I guess it doesn't really have to be a cylinder, but it definitely lets me measure the amount of candy in my head better. There we go, just like that. Pull this out on each side. Work this forward. One of the problems with the green is I always have to make too much. So I'm not going to use nearly all of this. Fron is never as wide as the strawberry, but don't worry, much of this can be saved and used for the stripe. The noise you just heard was me turning on the batch roller. It's a little squeaky today. I'm gonna have to lube it after all this is done. A little bit of red isn't going to be a problem because I'm going to put it right against the red from the strawberry. 
or the brown and it's not ever going to be noticed. There we go. Now all we have to do is do the outer wrap and in the meantime I'm going to put this on the bat roller, let it spin for a few minutes so that I don't let it go flat. So now we get to see how soft these things still are. They're plenty soft. So we're going to be able to use these as stripes. And you may wonder why we don't do much audio here, live audio here. The noises like that squeaking is definitely part of it. Also, the noises from the customers are part of it because we can't use that audio according to YouTube. But today, it's raining and we have no customers, so we're not going to have that problem. Yeah, I approximated, approximated the size very, very close. Now, I've got my log. Chocolate-covered strawberry. And off to the batch roller. If you think about it, chocolate-covered strawberries are different than other chocolate-covered fruits. Chocolate-covered orange peels are preserved orange peels. Chocolate-covered cherries are preserved, too. But chocolate-covered strawberries are fresh, and they trace their roots back to the imagination of Lorraine LaRusso, a candy maker from a candy maker's family in Chicago, who was working at a grocery store that had a large candy section. The cool thing about this story is I don't have to tell it to you. Even though Lorraine passed away in 2014, she can tell her own story. The produce department was right next to my candy department, and Ralph, who was the manager, used to get these Driscoll strawberries from California. I says, you know, I got a good idea. We'll set up a display and we'll dip strawberries for Mother's Day. And it became such a success. In 25 hours of selling, with an investment of only $700, I had a return of over $3,800. We took the log of candy and we drew it down into rods of candy. And now we have to cut them into individual bite-sized pieces for the final assortment. And we do that on our Canva. If you're interested in hearing more about Lofty Pursuits, please check out our other videos. We also have a weekly or roughly weekly podcast that you can get wherever podcasts are available or off our website, www.pd.net. It's very different from the videos because I don't limit myself to candy. And now to see how our chocolate-covered strawberry came out. I really wish we could put the smells across on YouTube too. The smell of this candy being made was so much like a chocolate-covered strawberry. You could almost imagine biting into it and juice running down your fingers. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. If you want to try this candy for yourself, please go to www.pd.net. You can get the candy there. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe to us here on YouTube. 
and to ring the bells so that you get notifications. If you ever come to Tallahassee, we're right out for the Thomasville exit off I-10. We make the candy in the front of the store, and we make it a lot of days, but not every day. So if you're lucky, you can come and catch us making candy, and we'd love to see you. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.